So I realized as I was editing this that I actually made no sort of intro at all. I just jumped right into the video. So I thought I would just make a little intro to say hello to those of you that may be new or welcome back to those of you that have been in my channel for a while. This vlog, I really thought when I was putting it together, it would be a mess and it turned out to be kind of one of my favorites. It's just a mix of a little bit of everything. We talk about stress eating, but we also go through a weekday, a weekend, some dietitian talk and some new transitions that are coming to my life and also just getting my life together. Some of that OG amazing cleaning content, you know, when it goes from like so messy to clean. Anyway, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you like this kind of style of vlog of a few days. This is my first time doing truly a few days, so I'm excited to hear what you guys think. And if you would do at any point like this, I would love for you to subscribe, stick around, hang out with me, and if you like the video, give it that thumbs up because it does really support my channel. But anyways, let's hop into the video. In the studio so in between we just shut off all the lights get it all cleaned ready to go a lot of the times i work out here but i'm trying to decide if i want to stay because it is 10 right now and i have a client basically discovery call like my free nutrition consultation starting at 11 and then i also have a meeting at 12 and then one at one so i'm like mm, do i stay but i've been honestly really struggling with getting in my workout i'll just be real even though i'm someone that works in fitness sometimes it's like you get tired yourself and overwhelmed and i just don't make the time for it when i know i could do something short like a melissa wood health that's literally 10 minutes long and it's not about i don't have the time even though i am pressed on time it's about just making that little bit of time because i know i'm a better person when i am working out and meditating it doesn't have to be some crazy like class like this like a cardio day but it does need to just be something some way of moving my body even though it's a walk so i'm trying to figure out i do i think it'd be nice to take milo but it looks like it may rain too i don't know if you can see yeah literally the gray sky um so let's see you're taking over me the feeling now what i told you about the feeling now Please ignore the embarrassing situation here. If you follow me on Insta at Mountain Kitchen, you've already seen this little pile. I posted like a reality picture. It's funny because mine was in it too, and he's like literally looking back at me like I'm crazy. Um, I always have my Instagram link down below. But yeah, this is part of what happens when I get stressed out. Things start to slip through. It's okay. But it is 11.20. I actually ended up having a call with one of the owners of the studio kind of last minute. So I didn't have a chance to work out. But I think I'm going to change, get into like some cuter clothes, put on glasses because then it like makes me look more professional. And then get and make some coffee as well. I think I may keep these on, but then do this. I don't know. You guys don't care about this. Anyways. Okay. You can't even see the full outfit in this city. <laughs> Not making it look great. Let's show you in a sec. So I basically just went for comfy casual. It's really nothing fancy. As you guys know, I'm not a fashion vlogger. But basically... I got these Al Goldie jeans. If you watched my last thrift haul video, you know I found them thrifted, which was amazing. As well as this top, so it's fully thrifted. It's actually in my last video, which I'll link down below. But these are not really the ideal jeans to pair with this because they're a little too baggy with this, but it's just really comfortable versus my tighter jeans. So we're gonna go with it. I feel like it's nice for a little day of meetings. I've got this cute scrunchie from, um, shop ruthie so amy Lilikowski's thing so i'll link this down below too but she does restock so she probably doesn't have this one right now anyways let's go make some coffee okay coffee i honestly put 
a little extra creamer in, the pumpkin spice. Oh, it's so freaking good. And so it's extra sweet and yummy. Um, when I go through periods of stress, I definitely rely on caffeine because usually the stress is in conjunction with fatigue through overworking myself. So something I try to be really mindful of, are the animals frickin' around? Milo! <laughs> something I try to be really mindful of is how much caffeine I intake and I'm really, I'm not very good at it. I definitely over consume. So I've been trying to cut down that extra cup in the morning that I have when I come back from the studio. But today I just feel like, I don't know, it's kind of cozy outside and rainy and that makes me want it anymore. But it is important to know that caffeine can definitely affect our hunger cues and how we're feeling. It can either be used as something that can satiate when it's really not and not giving us proper energy. Because people always say caffeine gives you energy, which is true, but it's not real energy because energy is what our body can use. Food is the only thing that can actually be converted into energy, also known as ATP, within our body to be used that way. So just something to keep in mind, a little fun little fact, but I'm about to um, jump on a little discovery call. So I do, I just said this, but I do 20 minute free consultations for starting up my client business, which I haven't even talked about fully, and I'll do probably a full video on this, but basically I'm working with people that are either trying to heal their relationship with food, find just the type of food that works for their body, or also maybe dealing with bloating. Um, I don't work specifically with people that have eating disorders or people that want a specific meal plan because that's not my street. And I'm not, I feel like, equipped or trained to work specifically with people with eating disorders, but I really like to help support people along the path and maybe be dealing with those disordered thoughts, even just body image struggles around bloating or in general. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below and you can definitely book a call. I would love to chat with you. I have so much fun getting to meet some of you guys on these calls. It's like, you guys will be like, oh, it's so fun to meet you. And I'm like, no, it's so fun to meet you. And I can see that changing all the feeling now. What I told you about the feeling now. your feelings a lot of times it's so frustrating because people are like oh it's probably just this or it's probably just this they're like it's not that bad but if you feel it and it feels serious then just know you are right like your gut instinct is right so i think it's so important just like to know that and to feel validated because i know how hard that can be guess who is here oh what are you oh hello oh my gosh he acts like he didn't know this was coming it's blurry. What the heck, and Bob? What's going on with this little guy? What's going on with this little guy? Brian just brought me lunch because he's the best before I hop on an actual client set. My love. Client session, to be honest, with the stress eating, um, it's so nice to have someone help me because my issue is I either don't want to eat or when I do eat, I want to eat all the sweets or things that don't make me feel good and then I feel bad and then I'm like, ugh. Not that sweets can't be a part of it, like I still love eating sweets, but I need a full meal, you know what I mean? So just some Chipotle, I gotta love, it's a little bit of rice, a little bit of black beans, or no, pinto beans today, I switched it up, and then chicken, guac, and the veg. I cannot wait. I'll probably try to get in a few bites of this before I meet with this girl at 12. All right, we changed again. I feel like I kind of failed you in the past few hours, but also I was literally just sitting on the computer doing calls with the clients and then meetings and like it's up now I have a little dog. Looking my leg. Milo? No, thank you, sir. Um, 
So Brian and I actually trained tonight together. Brian is my boyfriend, for those of you that may be new. Um, so that's always gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna make a coffee. Remember when I told you guys how I wasn't gonna have too much caffeine and now here I am literally contradicting myself. But I did have some grapes too, cotton candy grapes. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I'll show you those. These ones. Mm. I'm telling you, once you have cotton candy grapes, regular grapes, they just do not, they don't do it the same. Like, I mean, they do it. Mm -mm. I don't even like cotton candy, but I just adore these grapes. Okay, I'll stop eating them. But I really did want to say that stress eating can be different for everybody because it can be not eating because you're stressed or eating more because you're stressed. And something that I have to be really mindful of is when I'm doing things like being on calls or getting ready in a rush, making sure that I'm not eating in a rush ideally or eating like basically while I'm doing something else. So like if I were to sit on a call or a meeting and eat, I just cannot eat mindfully and that a lot of the time will end up with me stress eating especially if it's something like that's continuous, like chips or cheeses or whatever else. And it's not to say the stress eating is a bad thing. And I know I said that before, but like, I just think that's important to remember. But also our whole goal in life, I feel like, is to feel our best. And maybe sometimes stress eating can be a coping mechanism for a little bit, but long-term it typically is not what leads us to feeling our absolute best. So just thinking about that when we're doing it, really trying to take those few deep breaths, be mindful about what we're eating. You may ask why I'm doing this clip in a face mask on the balcony, but it's because Brian is doing teledrill and because it's also Saturday <laughs> because I never finished a vlog that day because I got caught up with work. So now we're doing a few days in my life. We got a weekday, we got a weekend, we got Milo still, and it's gonna be a fun day. I just finished up teaching, and my skin is having a moment. So I got the Coco Kind skin, uh, the Coco Kind, what's the name of it? I'll link it down below. Uh, face mask, and then also the turmeric stick on the zit that decided to come up. My little shop Ruthie scrunchie to keep my hair off. Um, all that good stuff. It's actually gonna be a really fun day today. I. When I taught this morning, it was with Nicole, and it's actually her birthday tomorrow, so we're celebrating that tonight. Uh, so kind of just getting ready for that. We're gonna go get nails done, all that stuff. But yeah, I'll stop talking to you guys in my little face mask. It's probably not the most uh, favorite thing ever. <laughs> all right. I've had this pile for way too long and we're going to conquer it right here, right now. And I personally love watching a satisfying cleaning vlog. So we're gonna do it. It's even worse than you thought. interesting because when I got home from teaching so I usually actually teach all four or all three classes and we then have to set up for the next day so it takes quite a while um, but today I got off early and so there's also some really big life changes that are coming up which I'll be announcing soon but not yet so stay tuned for that in a future video maybe like two weeks I would say which is like so exciting but anyways so I'm trying to kind of give myself a chance to decompress today, even though I know I have a lot of work. I know that I need to prioritize doing a few things for myself to not only celebrate the fact that I have these big life changes, but also just because I've been feeling so burnt out. And so I'm trying to force myself to do that today. 
So I went to get coffee after the classes and then obviously I wanted to tidy up here even though I feel like I really need to be doing work. And I, no, I don't need to. I need to see, I gotta work through it. But when I started to feel that, when I came home and think of all my to-do lists, I felt this need to start to eat. And yet I knew that we were literally making lunch and I just needed to wait. And I could tell that that feeling because of what I was craving, either cookies or sweets, or I was craving crackers, was more due to this feeling of stress. It's not that food can't be used as something to help us feel more comfortable. It's also really good to be able to cope with those feelings and actually deal with them. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do today. I recognized it. I was like, no, nope, I'm gonna go put that energy into cleaning and I'm gonna wait to have lunch. So now I'm just gonna make sure I get the rest of this tidying and then try to get a few things done for clients before I head over to get my nails done. Cause look at these, look at those. What are those? Are you biting me? Look at this. What are those? And these are just some little leggings, little leggings, little women aligned. And then this amazing Patagonia chinchilla because it's actually a little chilly here today. It's so fun. It kind of feels like fall. And people can hate on this, but oh my gosh, they're so comfortable. Lunch is served. Justin's peanut butter cup. Dance is slow and 